Hey, this is Nick at Drone World. We're just gonna do a little comparison flight against the stock Mavic controller and our uh, Max Mod upgrade kit with its helical antenna. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and get the camera focused in real quick. All right, and off we go. This test, I'll start out at about 75 feet and see, uh, see how far we can get on that altitude before we start getting some issues. About a quarter mile out, still doing well. Most of the time when you do fly at these distances, you do want to be higher, but we just want to, we just want to know the strength and the penetration that uh, the stock remote does versus that helical antenna and in case you are in that worst case environment. We're at about 3,000 feet and we notice a little bit of choppiness there and a little bit of signal degradation there. that quality back up. Bring it to about 150 feet or so should be good. Still have about halfway, uh, half our bars left on both signals there. Bring it up a little more. See that quality is going down and you'll be able to see these tree tops here. And I'm getting a little bit of lagginess here as we reach that 7,000 mark. about 8,000 feet and our signal finally disappeared. All right, we're back with our uh, MaxMod helical antenna. We'll go see how this pits up against that Mavic stock antenna and uh, we'll see how that does. Try to fly as closely to the same path as possible. Then we'll head up to 75 feet like we were on our stock uh, test. Overall, you can see that the stock remote had big lagging issues at just a half mile in distance, which would be bad enough to completely ruin any time-lapse shot. It then had a complete remote disconnect at about a mile, which can be very dangerous and even cause a crash. A big tree in our path will go ahead and raise up a little bit, but as you can see, we didn't get any signal degradation. We didn't get any uh, lagging like we did when we went around that bend last time. Overall, you can see that just about even a half mile out, the stock antennas were having some major issues as far as reception. Um, this is why we use our HD signal mods. They definitely are rock solid the entire way out. Even one glitch or anything like that can screw up your entire video or time lapse shot. This is pretty much where we cut out completely with that stock controller. As you can see, we still got three bars on each side. The Max HD signal antenna was crystal clear the whole way out and we couldn't be happier with this system. As we like to say, range is not the goal, it's the reliability that's so golden.